So it's Tuesday and it's September 17th, 2024. And I just walked over because I have to get work done on my car, but I can't afford it all. So I'm getting it all done in pieces. I go to this guy across the street. He's always been really nice. Um, but he found a bunch of stuff when I did my oil change. He works on my cars all the time, so. Uh, I mean, I, f I trust him. I mean, whatever, I, car, car shit is just ridiculous. So, um, anyways, but I have to work on stuff today. I have to um, take care of a couple of things for the, the commercial I just worked on. And I'm gonna be on set tomorrow, filling in for somebody on a project. And I have to work on Riker stuff. Kevin just called me and told me that they pushed it a couple of weeks because I thought it was gonna be the end of October. But now it might be the middle of November, which is fine. I mean, I wanted to just shoot it. So that's kind of cool. So I do have to start really focusing on Riker this month. And I just got to find other work in the meantime. So fingers crossed that I get more work. And yeah. Also, I got home last night and my physical copy of Moavir magazine with the photos I took of Kevin got delivered. And, uh... I'll show you. It's actually, it turned out really good. The pictures look amazing. I mean, Kevin just photographs really well. Okay, before you say anything, I know that with this blue hair and this sort of maroon shirt, I look similar to Thing 1 from Cat in the Hat. So, let's get that out of the way. I already know. Um, I'm just at home working, so. I wanted to show you, I got this new issue of Mo of Your Magazine with Kevin. And this is it right here. I'm a little disappointed because the spine got bent, uh, but it's a really thick magazine. Um, but the pictures of Kevy are right here. Um, starting here on page 30. Um, so Kevin Martinez, and then it says right there, creative director Michael Colon, and then it shows Matt's manager, and which is my manager. Picked by Michael with my, which is my Instagram and then Kevin's Instagram. So, um, but you know, just these two pictures, which I love this one because it's, I edited it in sepia. There's that one. I always tell him that I should do one. He wants to always be facing the camera and I make him always face away and they end up using it all the time. And he's got this one, which is a nice center spread as well, which I love very much. And then, um, ooh la la shirtless ones. Uh, and this one is, um, this one's his favorite. And then these two, but this one's my favorite. Um, he looks amazing there, but I love this photo. I don't know why I love the look on his face. I love the length of his body. I love the way that the light is hitting him. This is my favorite photo. Um, that's my favorite photo of him. Then there's one here and one there. And this one's sort of like half a page. And that's it. So we had quite a, quite a few photos, but this is for um, September issue, 2024. It's thick, it's so thick, but sadly the spine is broke, but that's okay. Um, I'm still very, 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 very grateful to be in this magazine. Um, Moavir is one of my favorite, and I have a couple more photo shoots that I'm trying to set up. So hopefully more magazines to follow. Okay, so I am going to walk over to the auto shop and see if my car is done. And if it's not done yet, I'm going to walk somewhere and get lunch. And if my car is done, I'm going to drive somewhere and get lunch. But I don't, I don't exactly know where I want to go yet. But I just want to see if it's available. I thought about calling and texting him, but I can just walk over. It's across the street. And then, you know... It's actually really lovely today. It's in the mid 70s. So, um, I don't mind walking. I need to walk more anyways. Get to the house for a bit because I've actually had a very productive morning. So we have three film festivals coming up with Grandma's Cookies. So I was, I gotta start promoting those. But the first one is Spooky Empire. And um, Spooky Empire and Halloween Palooza both play the same weekend, which is the weekend of October 11th through the 13th. Um, and then there's also the Indie Horror Film Festival. And I still, I don't know when that one plays out. I got to look that up. But um, when I was talking to Ryan, my producer, and he's like, this is like the second or third time that our movie has played like 
twice in the same weekend. I was like, I know, that's kind of cool. So um, that's what we're doing. So I want to promote those. I have not posted about them yet online, but I just was traveling, so I was waiting. And you know, today's a good day as any. So I'll, prom I'll post them throughout the week. Uh, so you can check them out on my Instagram page, which is Filmmaker MJC. Filmmaker MJC. So my car was ready. Uh, he just forgot to call me because he was busy. So that's fine. I walked over, picked it up. Now I decided to come to Blaze. I don't know if you can see it. But um, I'm really hungry. And I was thinking about pizza because I love pizza. And I don't know. I hadn't been to Blaze in a while. And I thought I'd just come have some lunch. And it's actually really, really nice. So if there's not a lot of people over here, I might sit in front of this cheesesteak place. I don't know. I mean, sometimes they play the loud. In this particular location, they play the music like really, really, really loud. Because there's kids working there. So sometimes it's like, I get it. You like your music. I'm not complaining. I like music. It's just sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. I can't even hear it. Like, sometimes it's so loud I can't even hear them when I order their food. And I'm not even deaf. It's just like they like loud music. It's kind of like when I go to um, Planet Fitness and, like, the music is so loud I feel like I'm at a club. So, yeah. I actually don't mind. The problem is, like, if I want to go to the gym, I like to play my own music. So it's like sometimes it's all you hear. It's like a combination of both. But... That's not what I'm that's what I'm vlogging about right now. I'm vlogging about the fact that I'm gonna get some Blaze pizza. So my pizza was scrumptious. Uh usually get to come to a Blaze and I get the red vine pizza because it's all vegetables, and then I just add a little bit of chicken so I can't eat a lot of iron. <clears throat> and then I usually add like um just green peppers and onions. And a little bit of garlic. Just to, you know, and, and oregano, I've noticed. So, yeah, I think this pizza's good. Um, I really love, like, pepperoni pizza, but I can't have too much red meat. And I had a lot of that this weekend, sadly. So, <clears throat> um, I could have a barbecue chicken pizza. But I really like the red vine. And I like the way that they make it. So, um, that is what I had. Now, I definitely have to go back home and get some work done. Because um, I do a film tomorrow and I film tomorrow and I have to get work done. And I had to post some stuff for Grandma's Cookies and work on Riker. Lots of good stuff. So uh, keep your fingers crossed that in the next couple of months I hear something about any of my features. That would be amazing if I could go into the end of this year and into next year having a feature lined up. I need that. Let's show the blue hair. Well, the rest of the day ended up just being pretty chill. I just sat in my room watching television. Um, I'm covering for my friend Liam on set tomorrow, so I had to wait for him to give me the file for the project, so I got that tonight. Um, but the good thing is call time's not till... My call time isn't until like 11.30, so... Um, doing splits, but that's okay. Um, the weather's going to be fairly nice tomorrow, and because I'm filming outside all day, and we're going to nights, or splits, it's definitely going to be cold, so I'm going to wear my new sweatshirt I bought at uh, in Vegas, and I'll bring the one I, I, I also brought one when I was in um, Florida, so I'll bring that one too, just in case. But yeah, um... Nothing too exciting. Oh, it's funny because they sent me an email about the wrap party. So maybe I'll go to this wrap party, even though I'm only working on the project for one day. Um, and it's the final day, so that'll be pretty chill. I can't, um, I signed an NDA, so I can't talk too much about it. I actually don't even know much about it because um, they sent me everything, but I didn't really look at it. I'll look at it tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, well, I usually yell when I'm in bed, but I'm not in bed, I'm just tired. Um, all right, well, I have nothing else to share. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so it's happy hump day, and yeah, I'll work. Thursday, I'm supposed to shoot, I'm supposed to do a photo shoot with this, my friend Jason, uh, who I've been wanting to shoot with, but, uh, because I was traveling so much, I didn't get a chance to really connect with him and figure out, like, a theme and a location, so that may affect us shooting, but also, um... I'm supposed to meet with um, 
Chris, that tall South African man, one of the, one of the guys that I met at the red carpet event. And also they messaged me while I was in Vegas and said that they were going to meet up for lunch next week. So, uh, I get to meet up with the boys. That'll be fun. Um, cause I can see them away from the red carpet. We can just be ourselves and talk and catch up. So that's going to be, I love that they want to consider me because I think they're all around the same age. They're like in their late twenties. Um, so they're all the same age, but I don't know that they just thought it was cool. Um, I think they talk amongst themselves more because I really think that like the first two I met, Chris and um, Joe, get along really well. They, they were inseparable that whole night. Um, so that's kind of cool that they met because they're both fairly new out here. And so they know each other. But it's kind of cool that, you know, they want to get to know me too. So yes. So I'll have lunch with them next week. But I got to go back to Vegas for location scouting for Riker. So, and then get to, that'd be cool because when I come back, I'll get to fill them in on everything. So that'll be really exciting. That'll make them happy. So, but all right, I got to get to bed and uh, get some sleep. So tally ho, talk to you later.